Today we're going to demonstrate TMJ uh, x-rays and this is actually can be done two different ways. One is Laws and one is Schuler's. I'm going to demonstrate uh, each for you so you'll understand. Uh, the first view we're going to do, uh, the routine views will be for, uh, we'll go ahead and say Schuler's now, is going to be a, a town's view and then some places do require that you do an open and a closed mouth for the towns and then you also will do bilateral uh, open and closed mouth. So they're actually going to be doing five x-rays for whichever exam you do. Same thing for laws. We'll do an open and closed mouth for the towns and then we'll do bilateral. Uh, we'll do open and closed mouth also. So first thing I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you is going to be the towns view. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to angle the, uh, the tube 30 degrees. Our, so our film size will be a 10 by 12. It'll be lengthwise. Have my right marker on there. Already center locked and centered to my film. So I'm going to have the patient's head straight. I'm going to have them tuck their head down to the OML is perpendicular. And if they couldn't get the OML, you could use the IOML at angle 37 degrees. And our centering point is going to be at the level of the glabella. Now you should see, should be coming, the line should actually be coming down right on the TMJ. If you're not sure where it's at, you can actually have the patient, could you open and close your mouth for me? And you can feel it here as she's opening and closing her mouth. So the collimation line should actually come right down on the TMJ. Your collimations will be skin margins side to side. And they can be a little bit tighter because we're only interested in the TMJ. I'm going to go ahead and bring my marker up on the table here, my right marker. And we are going to, because again, this is head work, we're going to use a full body shield. So this will be our town's view. And again, you couldn't do uh, the closed mouth and then centering exactly the same, have the patient open your mouth for me. And then we would duplicate the same exam with the mouth open. The one thing that you need to do is you need to have some kind of indication by a marker that says open and close or something like that, or you can actually use your markers. Uh, you can have the marker higher for the uh, closed mouth, and then when they do the open mouth, move the marker down and that would indicate that it was open. That way we have some kind of indication uh, to the radiologist which view it is. So the next thing we're going to do is the, the laterals. So I'm going to get this off here. If you would roll into your stomach for me. Let's get down towards your feet just a little bit. Okay. Put the shield back on. Okay. I'm going to take the tube angle off. off the 30 degrees. Now, we're, first one I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate is Schuler's. Now, we're going to angle on it, but it's not going to be quite the 35. It's going to be, well, it's, it's actually 25 to 30 degrees. So it's a little bit, it's close, but it's not quite uh, the 30 or if you use 37 that you could have used for the uh, town's view. So I'm going to recenter to my film, which I am, and center locked. And the head position for this, for the Schuler's view, is the head is in a true lateral position. So we're going to demonstrate having the head rotated up. We're going to do our, go through our uh, steps again. The IPL is perpendicular. The MSP parallel. The IOML should be perpendicular to the front edge of the film. So now we have the head in the true lateral position. Now our centering for this, for the Schuler's is, a half inch anterior to the EAM and two inches superior to the EAM. The collimation can be sort of tight and we're looking at the downside. So the right side is the one we're doing. Now what I like to do is I use my markers to indicate whether it is open or closed mouth. So for the closed mouth, I put my marker toward the back. That's my indication that it's a closed. Now I'm going to have the patient to open her mouth. Then I'm going to move my marker to the front. And that signifies because when you open your mouth, the mandible will go forward uh, coming out of the fossa anteriorly. So that just lets me know that is an open mouth view. So that's an indication to the doctor and you need to annotate this on the film. So this is our Schuler's view for TNJs. Next, I'm going to demonstrate laws. 
Now the walls view, we actually angle only 15 degrees. Need to recenter. Making sure I'm still center lock. So I'm going to demonstrate on the same side here so we can sort of give you a demonstration of seeing both. So from a true lateral position, we're going to get the IPO again, MSP, IOML, perpendicular. From that position, you're going to rotate the head toward the table about 15 degrees. Okay, so once we've rotated it down, our centering does change. It's going to be from the EAM, we're going to go about two inches superior. So from the EAM, we're going to go about two inches superior. Again, this is looking at the downside. So we need to do an open and a closed mouth. So again, for the closed mouth, I'm going to put my marker toward the front, and we'll make the exposure. Then we're going to have the patient open your mouth, and then we're going to take and put the marker to the front, and make the exposure with the mouth open. It's not going to stay. So this is going to be our walls view. Okay. Uh, the difference being for this, the walls view uh, compared to the Schuler's, is the Schuler's view will actually elongate uh, the condyle more. Okay, you're angling more, so it elongates it more. So it's according to which uh, hospital you're at and what the radiologist is looking for that determines what view you should do of laws or Schuler's. And these are our TMJ x-rays.